Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I want to discuss the uh, breaking news on the Nintendo Switch 2 and you know when we're going to see it and yeah the tweet that the president of Nintendo put out today um, and just give you my thoughts on what I think and yeah the excitement in general you know the hype of Nintendo Switch 2 finally coming out all of that. So uh, yeah so we all started off with this tweet over here. Um, from Mr. Furukawa, the president of Nintendo. He says, uh, we will make an announcement about the successor to the Nintendo Switch within this fiscal year. It will have been over nine years since we announced the existence of Nintendo Switch back in March 2015. We will be holding a Nintendo Direct this June regarding the Nintendo Switch software lined up for the latter half of 2024. But please be aware that there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during that presentation. So what this basically means is the next Nintendo Direct, which is going to be in June this year, will only focus on Nintendo Switch games for this year, the current Nintendo Switch game, not next gen Switch, the current Nintendo Switch. And um, there will definitely be a Nintendo Switch 2 announcement between June this year and April next year, which is the end of the fiscal year, uh, or March 31st. But yeah, so I think, yeah, we're going to see or some sort of announcement of the Switch 2 by, I don't know, obviously by April next year. Um, my guess is um, we're probably going to get a Switch 2 announcement probably, uh, I, you know what I think? I think it could happen at the Game Awards. The reason I say that is because if Nintendo do a Switch 2 announcement, I don't know, let's say, you know, September or October, like they did in 2016 for the current Switch, that would then affect the Switch's sales at Christmas, right? The current Switch, that is. And obviously, Nintendo's got a target of selling, I think, something like 13 million units of the current Switch model from March this year till March next year. So if they're hoping to sell 13 million Switch units, if they decide, right, here's the Switch 2, coming out next year, do you think people are going to buy the current Switch? I would very much doubt it. it's going to affect sales. So um, I think the smart thing to do would be focus on the current Switch this year. After Christmas, you know, the holiday release, you know, just release whatever you can, whatever games are coming out. Focus on the current Switch, get as much sales as you can. And then by end of December or Game Awards, whenever that is, this 7th of December, sometime around then, um, you know, people would have bought everything for Black Friday, all the sales are pretty much done. Um, I think we'll get an announcement probably at the Game Awards. If not the Game Awards, definitely by January. I think in the new year, it could even be in that February Direct that they usually do in 2025, which is still in the fiscal year. I think it could even be then, the February Direct next year. Um, could be in January, could be in February. Either way, we'll see it early 2025, that's what I think. If we see it in 2024, I think it's going to be in December, you know, right at the end, you know, once, you know, the sales are over and not the sales, but you know, like the Christmas holiday period. You know, I still think it's going to be after Christmas because it's going to affect the sales, obviously. So they're going to try and maximize on the current Switch model. Um, so I don't think we'll see any announcement this year for Switch 2, but definitely before the fiscal year, as they've already said, and I think it's going to be in February direct, or it could be in January, you never know, the beginning of the uh, month, and that gives them time to then promote it. And uh, in terms of release, it's a possibility that it might get released in March 2025 as well. March was when uh, the current Switch came out, and, you know, it was a good good period to sell the, you know, Switch, uh, a new console. So, um, I, I, it's also the end of the fiscal year, so they might want to maximise sales before the end of that fiscal year with the current switch or the, the next switch um, so yeah that's just my guess i think the switch 2 will come out in march i think it's going to come out in march 2025 and i think we'll get an announcement a couple of months before um in 2025 because i don't think nintendo will want their sales affected so that, that's just my opinion on it um, but yeah, it's exciting stuff. Um, good, to, good to see uh, that Nintendo, uh, you know, finally confirming that there is a Switch 2. I think we all knew there was a Switch 2 coming out, a next-gen Switch, obviously. 
but Nintendo for the first time ever officially confirmed that it is coming out and they've given us a period of when it's coming out so uh, yeah big question is what's it going to be called <laughs> Switch 2 Super Switch I don't know I think we, <laughs> I don't think they're going to call it Switch 2 because that's obviously a rumour Nintendo never you know go, uh, go with the rumoured name um, or a code name even uh, but I, I think I don't know I just I can't even guess I mean I would absolutely have, I, if it was my choice I would go with Switch 2 it is a little bit you know Sony-esque you know but I think it works Switch 2 it's clear what it is it's the next gen Switch and the Super Switch also sounds really cool you know reference to the SNES but yeah that's in, in terms of names uh, I can't really guess other than you know what's already out there um, yeah, uh, in terms of launch titles for the Switch 2, I personally think there is a 3D Mario game that's been ready for years, and I think it's, you know, been put on hold for the Switch 2 launch. So I think we're going to see a Mario, a 3D Mario like Mario Odyssey 2 or something. Um, I think that's going to be the launch title for the Switch. So yeah, if we do get a 3D Mario game as a launch title for the Nintendo Switch 2, then this would mean that it's the first 3D Mario game as a launch title since Super Mario 64. And we all know how awesome that game was. Um, you can't go wrong with the 3D Mario games. You know, even the, the weakest 3D Mario game, which is, well, in my opinion, Mario Sunshine, is still an absolute hell of a game. Like, it's, it's, an, it's a classic, you know. For many people, I'm sure it's probably the best Mario 3D game, right? I don't think any 3D Mario games are bad. They're all classics. Every single one of them. You might have a favourite, but they're all classics. None of them are bad games. So, yeah, you can't go wrong with a 3D Mario game. And we're not going to get another Zelda game as a launch title, obviously, because we just had Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I don't think Metroid Prime 2... Uh, well, sorry, Prime 4 will be a launch title because Metroid games are as good as they are. They're not system sellers. Um, I think I personally believe Metroid Prime 4 is going to launch this year on the current Switch model, and we'll probably get a enhanced version on the Switch 2 or an upgrade or something. So, just very much like Tears of the Kingdom, um, it's going to push the Switch to the absolute limit. This is Metroid Prime 4, and then it's going to probably have lots of lags, which it, most Nintendo Switch games do have nowadays. Um, it's going to have frame rate drops and all sorts, but it's going to be an absolutely epic game, I think. Um, and uh, I think it's going to launch this year on the current Switch, and then they're going to try and maximize sales because the current Switch has sold 141 million units. I mean, that's a massive install base right there. So you want to release Metroid where there's a massive audience for it. So, you know, by releasing it on the Switch 2, you're going to miss out on that 141 million. And that's just a lot of sales that you can, you know, you can, you're going to not be able to maximize on. So, yeah, I think the Metroid Prime 2 won't be a launch title for Switch 2. I think there'll be an enhanced version. Um, but yeah, uh, that's just my opinion. I think, I think Metroid Prime 2 is going to be the swan song final game for Switch, for the current Switch, you know, because let's be honest, this year is going to be the final year for the current Switch and then Switch 2 is going to be out next year so yeah that's just my opinion on it and in terms of sales for the current Switch yes yeah, so 141 million that's crazy um, you let me know in the comment section guys what you think of uh, the Switch in terms of sales is it going to be the uh, best selling console of all time is it going to beat the DS and the PS2 personally I've always thought it would well, I'll say always but I predicted this at least three years ago. Um, I remember having a conversation with uh, a friend of mine and uh, he just kept saying, no, I don't think the Switch is going to... This, at this point, I think this is in 2021, I think the Switch had sold 80 million. And uh, I said to him, the pace that the Switch, the Switch, the current Switch is selling at, it's going to outsell the PS2. But my mate was just like, nah, it's not going to happen. 80 million, it's got like, it's only halfway. It's not going to do it. It's not going to do it. But now it's only, is it 14 million away from overtaking the PS2? I think PS2 is on 155 million and the Switch is on 141 million. Um, I think Nintendo will easily do that. I mean, they're, they're, they're estimating uh, to sell at least another 13 million by March next year. So 
if it does achieve that, then it's pretty much touching distance, isn't it? And I think it can easily do it. I think when the Switch 2 comes out, uh, they're going to carry on still. They're going to still sell the current Switch, aren't they? With the Switch 2 out, they just. In fact, this is the biggest giveaway that they're going to overtake the PS2's all-time record. The current Switch has never had a single price drop. I don't know why people don't talk about this. It's never had a price drop, an official price drop. And why should it? It's still selling. I think the only time it's going to get a price drop is when the Switch 2 comes out. That's the only time. And I, I think the Switch 2, when that comes out, is probably going to cost around the same price as a standard Switch. You know, like a Switch OLED, or maybe a little bit more. Um, in UK, I think it's going to cost about £350 or something. That's my guess. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's when we're going to see a price drop for the current Switch. And then when that happens, the sales for the standard Switch is going to shoot up. And personally, I think this, I think this, the normal Switch is probably going to sell up to 200 million by the time it's finished. You know, it's run. I think it's going to sell about 200 million units. That's, that might sound like I'm exaggerating, but I think this, the current Switch is going to last at least another three years in the market. So that's just my prediction on that one. Uh, I, don't, I don't think uh, 155 is difficult at all. So, yeah, yeah, I think we're going to see history be made with, with the Nintendo Switch. Um, and yeah, the, the games themselves have sold really well as well, like the more million sellers, obviously, like with Princess Peach and um, what's that Mario game called? Mario, the, the little puzzle one that just came out recently. Um, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, that's the one. Um, that's sold a million as well. So yeah, it's just one of those and Nintendo Switch games are just selling, no matter how simple they are, they're, they're selling crazy numbers, aren't they? So yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think uh, of this breaking news and are you excited? Um, do you reckon the Switch is going to outsell the PS2? What do you think the Switch is? What do you think of the Switch 2? What do you think of the concept? Do you think it's going to be 4K? Do you think um, it's going to be backwards compatible? Um, what's your your thoughts on these magnetic Joy-Cons that are rumoured? Um, yeah, just let me know in the comment section, guys. Uh, if you're going to get one, if you currently have a Switch, you know, do you think the Switch 2 is needed right now? I personally think it is, even though I love my Switch. So yeah, let me know in the comment section, guys. Um, so that's it for today on this uh, breaking news. And yeah, it's good to know that there's finally a Switch 2 coming out. It's in the, within the next year. So yeah, um, cheers for watching guys and uh, catch you in the next video.